Hi guys, Angela, nurse practitioner here. Um, this week we're talking about our vitamin C IVs. Um, we have several of them, so let me give you a quick overview of vitamin C. Many of you might know vitamin C is a wonderful vitamin. Um, it's a powerful antioxidant. It has antibacterial, antiviral properties. Um, we use it in IV specifically because you can get higher concentrations of vitamin C in your bloodstream than you can taking it orally. Lots of times, if you've ever tried to take a high dose of vitamin C orally, sometimes your bowels don't quite tolerate it. Um, so there's lots of benefits to doing a vitamin C IV, even if you're taking a daily vitamin C. Um, so the way we use it in our IVs, we are able to do higher doses of vitamin C, like I mentioned, and this helps to boost our immune system. It helps to enhance our immune system ability to send off those white blood cells. We call them our fighter cells, um, support our innate immune system, and fight off um, whether it be a viral infection, potentially a bacterial infection. And it also helps to protect ourselves from free radicals. And um, so free radicals are often associated with viral infections. That's why vitamin C is so powerful to use in those circumstances, um, especially when you're able to come in at first sign of illness before we have um, a viral illness that potentially turns into something bacterial, whether that be sitting in your chest, turning into pneumonia. Uh, we can boost that immune system to its full potential and fight that off. Um, so that looks like a couple different things. Um, we have something called a Myers. Myers would be our lowest amount of vitamin C. Um, it has vitamin C, um, I would say four different uh, B vitamins and magnesium in it. And then sometimes our nurses will add in um, zinc or NAC, um, other things to add on depending on your symptoms. I would say our Myers IV is our most common um, just everyday IV. If you're going on a trip, you maybe aren't sick or having signs of being sick, but you were maybe exposed to someone that was, or you want to boost your immune system before getting on that long flight. This is a nice one that it just kind of give you a little bit of hydration, gives you those vitamins, uh, but nothing super overpowering. And then oftentimes if you're coming in and maybe you do have some signs of being ill or you just want a little bit of extra um, vitamin C, we'll go one step up. It's a little bit more vitamin C. You still get all the same extra vitamins um, and a little bit more fluid. So you get extra hydration, extra vitamin C. Um, and of course, at this point, typically my patients are either having symptoms or like I said, they want a little extra. So you can see as the vitamin C rises, that's when we're looking at symptoms. Um, and then our highest dose vitamin C is a high is called high dose vitamin C, or we call it high C. Um, there's two levels to this. Um, most often or not, we use this with COVID. Um, if you come in and you have suspected COVID or known COVID, we recommend the high dose vitamin C because this is, like I said, a higher dose of vitamin C that really just kind of helps to attack those um, viral or bacterial properties that are going on in your body. Um, and we've seen a lot of success with this. Um, a lot of times, depending on the severity of your case, especially COVID is the best example I can give because we had seen this a lot previously. We do this three days in a row to really boost your immune system and um, continue the process over the three-day time span. Some people do really well after one. See, some people need the full three. Um, what you can expect if you're using it for something like this um, or even just the super Myers, sometimes that vitamin C will boost our immune system. And uh, sometimes you can feel a little bit worse before you get better because like we know when we boost our immune system, that might mount a fever response, um, different symptoms, which I know notoriously we believe is bad, but it's actually great. It means our immune system is turning on. Um, it's proof that things are changing and um, getting fought off. So we like to use that as much as we can in place of antibiotics. Um, antibiotics definitely have their place, but if we can protect your gut, like we talked about the last series, and avoid the antibiotics we would love to. It's just the whole picture. It's great to take vitamin C every day, but the the extra benefits you get from an IV just can't be, um, can't be taken orally. Um, so come on in for one of our vitamin C IVs. Uh, our nurses are excellent. They'll help direct you. Okay, how much vitamin C do I really need? We'll always have our provider here in the office if you're more comfortable speaking with one of us as well. Have a great day.